What is up y'all? JT, resident dog fishing. Gonna be down for a couple weeks between uh, work and weather, so what better time to do some maintenance on the boat? Uh, I know it's last time I was out fishing, my uh, Minn Kota 36 volt trolling motor, the spot lock wasn't working. It would turn on, it would turn off. It would turn on, it would turn off. Sometimes it'd last longer than others. And everything I looked at, doing some research online, points to it being a voltage issue. Uh, which a lot of people said it's a corroded connection, either in the plug or maybe on the fuse breaker. So we're gonna get over to the boat. We're gonna take a look at that, see if we can uh, figure out where the problem is. And uh, I wanna pull the batteries out for the trolling motor anyway. It's time to put them on a reconditioned cycle and uh, get those get those serviced, if you will. So let's head over to the boat and uh, get to working. All right, so I got the cover pushed back off the boat a little bit. First thing I wanna look at, so this is what I'm working with. It's the Minn Kota Riptide, 36 volt. Ah, uh, pilot. First thing I look at is my plug here. Yeah, there we go. You can see that, but that's green yucky corrosion all over that. Well, <laughs> I think that might be our problem, but we're gonna go through the whole system anyway. Let me get this taken apart and uh, cleaned up. There's a little green cruddy on there. I think I'm gonna pull those off and uh, just give it all a good clean. That looks a lot better. Let's pull the other positive off and look at that. That's yeah, that's definitely a problem. So we'll get that cleaned up. We'll drill a tool and a wire wheel. I'm hitting that right. Well, there's all kinds of crud built up inside of there. And if I remember right, these just push out of here. I take a little hammer and beat, 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 but yeah. You think that's a problem with the connection? I think so. That is a lot better. All right, so we got the inside of that pretty cleaned out. These are our two pins. Put those back in and should be good to go. So that is a lot better. A lot cleaner. So these pins, you can undo the screw on the back and just kind of push them out to get them cleaned. And then I used the, the nut and the washer, just threading them back on there to pull them back in nice and tight. So, plug's done and installed, it's pretty good. Now, we gotta deal with all the nastiness up in here. Take that apart, just got two screws here. We'll check the connections in here too. We got the cover off, and those aren't too bad. We just gotta pull this one out and really clean it. Look, that's nasty. So those pretty much just drop out and uh, it's not a little too bad, it's just right on the edge. Okay. 
Alright, so that definitely looks a lot better. Spray a little bit of the good stuff in there. So we got the issue with the plug sorted out. Got that stripped out, all the corrosion cleaned out of that. Covered with some corrosion X, but there's more going on than just that, I've noticed. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So down in the center console, where the head is, he built a uh, little wooden step here uh, for batteries. But you can look at the corrosion on that positive terminal and negative terminal. And I'm not digging all the rust and crap on that sucker. So it's all going to come out and it's all going to get replaced. New fuse. Well, I'm not going to replace batteries. I'm just going to clean them up. There's not a whole lot of room in here to work, <laughs> if you can see. So, might not be able to show you much of what's going on. All right, so three screws. Got that wooden step out of the way, and this is going to be pretty easy to undo. Undo the batteries, undo the bolts, pull those out, and then we'll get down to the fuse down there. But yeah, just looking at the cables. Even my charging cables, those need to be, it all needs to be cleaned up. So we'll get the drum one here, clean those up. But in the meantime, we'll pull all these batteries out. So I take them to the house and get them reconditioned and recharged up, cleaned up. All right, so those suckers are out. Well, you definitely see there's some corrosion there. This battery looks pretty good. A little bit of corrosion on that one. We'll get them cleaned up. For now, just got to clean up all the connections down here clean up all those and get that uh, get that fuse out so I got one off what a pain in the ass there's the other one that's gonna be a pain in the ass too but I mean, the back side of that is just nasty time to be replaced Can't fuse. Garbage. Now the debate, do I want to run, run, run to Marine Trading Post now? I got an hour to get there. I can come back and finish this up. Okay, let's go. Alright, well, it's a mad dash to get there. It's 414, probably take about a half an hour to get there, so. Hopefully we can get there before they close. If not, we'll just finish it up tomorrow. But we're going to boot, scoot, and boogie and get there. I always hate rolling into a business right when they're getting ready to close, but I'm sure they get it all the time. They close at 5 o'clock. And uh, we should get there just over the bridge. I will tell you all this. If you're ever down in Lee County, Fort Myers area, and you need something for your boat or boat parts this is the place these guys are awesome they take care of you and they usually got what you need marine trading post Caveat these guys. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by them. They don't give me any discounts or nothing. It's just I like giving shout outs to good people and good businesses. So check them out if you're ever down here. All right, fuse in hand. Let's head back to the boat. We'll clean up some of the connections and uh, at least get that new fuse installed. All right, new fuse. A little cleaning action on these uh, connections down here. Oh yeah. <laughs> clean, not clean. <laughs> That's definitely a lot better. And then we're just gonna be cleaned up, get the new one put in. That's the good stuff right there.
in, hook up the uh, wires. And there's the new circuit breaker. Leave that open. Now, we get all these cleaned up and clean up some of the crap that's up in here. That's a lot better. It ain't perfect, but it's uh, about 90%. All right, I got all my ends cleaned up, polished, ready for a reinstall of everything. Just took those down there for now. So we should be good to go. We'll head on back to the house and uh, work on the batteries. Wire brush does wonders. This is the best. This is the best out of all the batteries, so we'll start with this one first. And I do want to check is the water level. And that's pretty damn good. Those ready to rock and roll. Get her hooked up on the charger. That's cool thing. On, recondition. Whew, sounds rough, but it's gonna work. Need a better runner cycle. And we'll clean up the other two. All right, we've got our batteries charged up. Got the boat in the driveway for tomorrow. We're gonna turn the batteries back in there. Give that spot lock a test, see as it goes. I'd show you all what I was doing in here, but there's just no freaking room. <laughs> so I just gotta get these hooked up, run a that's a negative post here where my trolling motor will go and then run my series positive to negative, negative to positive, positive to negative. Yeah, it's gonna be negative, negative side over here. I'll show you when I get that one in.
There we go. All right. Bat one's in, locked down. Now we'll do bat two. All right, so that's in. So we have this go to the negative side of the battery. This is the positive for the trolling motor. My two connections for my onboard charger. Close the circuit and we're ready to rock and roll. Everything's in. Let's throw the switch. Boom. Let's see if we got power. Oh. Whew. Did we get a green light? Sweet, we'll deploy it, get the remote, see how she works. Oh, -ho. Well, it's kind of a cruddy day out here, but uh, after working on the trolling motor for a little while, I figured I'd uh, get out here and at least check it out, see if uh, everything's working right. So, nope, I can't see that. There we go. But everything's working there. Go so we'll hit stop. Appears as if we're uh, good to go. Yep. So there we go. Spot lock is up and running. Just a uh, corrosion issue. Fix the, the plug and. We did all the batteries.